Good morning, guys. I'm at Spoon Type 1 today with the BBL crew. And we're checking out the Type 1 facility. Let's just do some brief tour inside. So, right there, that's an engine bay or engine room right there. Nice quad up there. Looking <laughs> outside, like chilling. But, so the spoon is. Like as you guys can tell, it's very clean floor. It's located in the central of Tokyo. Not central of Tokyo, a little bit of west side of Tokyo, but uh, it's still in the 23 ward. But yeah, this is customer's EK9, and this is what I'm here for. The Spoon FL5 Civic Type R, brand new demo car. Love the interior. Dustin, you like this car, huh, so much? Too much. Too much. Can't wait to drive it? Yes. Man, I... Personally speaking, I do love this car so much. Love it's it. just so much. Yeah, Grant, right? I love it. You it's, should trade your M3 for this. I know. I know. Then it would be a real Honda boy. Mm-hmm. I really... It, it's so, so cool. I mean, to be honest... It's a little more like refined. Yeah, exactly. A little smoother. You know? Exactly. The name Civic used to be like a cheap, you know, cheap ass car, but not not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Super cool. The price is not cheap anymore, no, but still. It's not, it's not cheap anymore either. But I mean the interior spec, interior and everything. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's especially crazy. with the spoon carbon buckets and like oh, a little know. bit of and spoon flavor. It is super cool. It will be super, super cool, man. Yeah, I love it. I love this thing so much. Uh, so let's check out the interior. Yeah. Oh my god. The interior is actually good. Very, very nice. The shifter is just so good too. And yeah, so Joe Motosan said I could start it, so here goes nothing. Look at a startup sequence. Red Honda <sighs> Just so cool. You can have a data log, auto score, and everything. This is a basically a multi-function display, but in a modern form, and it's actually very good. And unlike yours, where the room mirror and the, like the nav is not blocking the view so actually the view up front is really really amazing sure here we go yeah look at it all right they're checking out the hood so i'll go inside this check it out as well hey turn it off turn it off Yeah, it's like uh, all smushed. Yeah. yeah. So close the uh, radiator and the uh, cover the uh, right. support frame. But the, uh, this car has a very big, big uh, space. And uh, one only fan. one fan. And uh, so need to make uh, space. And then go up the heat. Yeah, this is something that the FK really needed because their cooling vent yeah. really didn't do anything. So this is actually cool. There's no fan to create some kind of, I guess, area here that air can travel up from the turbo and the downpipe here. Wow. Hopefully it helps a little bit. Uh, maybe this will help a little too. What is this? Uh, this is uh, it's, chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's different than the uh, Earth Games one. Previously. So uh, take out the plate. You can see a um, big, uh, small uh, room. Oh, you can actually see it when you take this yeah. off. That's cool. So it's a, a big uh, 
big volume uh, yeah. before the turbocharger uh, mm. uh, between the uh, air cleaner. Right. So Axel, uh, when drive the race truck, uh, Axel on and then off. Uh, turbocharger, uh, the spinning is slow. Right. And so, uh, airflow is a, a little bit uh, stopped uh, mm. before the top charger. So, normally, uh, back uh, back to the uh, airflow, but uh, mm. uh, it has a in the air greener, air greener stops the uh, airflow. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, yeah. if it has a big volume, uh, make a more uh, more uh, air, more air. And so, next axle on. Uh, come to easy to come to the top I see. It so helps deliver was, air yeah, to this most up. Wow. Uh, this oh. device. So especially I guess with that being said, probably getting an aftermarket air intake is gonna yeah. drastically improve. Yeah. So uh, aftermarket uh, some aftermarket uh, air cleaner system uh -huh. is uh, uh, just open. Right. And so it uh, uh so maybe uh Drag race is yeah. okay, yeah. so mm. easy to uh, sure. come to the uh, air. But uh, in the race track, it's on, off, on, off. Yeah. Uh, so off is uh, all back to the uh, air. Mm -hmm. So this acts on and need to the uh, correct the air. Right. But the box uh, box type is a little bit. Expand the uh, uh, air see, see. to axle off. Yeah. So, uh, need a uh, uh, reduce the uh, air flow. Right. Yeah. So we will make a uh, uh, intake system. Uh, so uh, oh, you guys will make an intake system. Yeah, we will make. Nice. Uh, so like a uh, genuine style. Sick. Okay, because yeah. you didn't make one for the FPA. Uh, yeah, we have uh, our new products uh, oh, for so FKA. Okay. Okay. Uh, it should be uh, a product to sell start at the uh, end of this year. Mm. Oh, yeah. sick. So you'll make FL5 and FKA? Um, uh, separate. Other, separate. Other, other yeah. style, but yeah. uh, same thinking. Sick. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Shimoto san, thank you so much. This is so freaking cool. <sighs> I can't wait. So, Jomoto san, what is, why do you recommend people to put a aluminum cap? Uh, I saw on a video option uh -huh. you said like, this is the best mod, first mod ever for like if you're gonna go to track. What is this behind the story? So, uh, uh, we have uh, some experience for the racing. Mm -hmm. So when we uh, was always uh, racing and the uh, 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 series engine has mm -hmm. uh, so many vibration mm -hmm. and uh, at the uh, 24 hour race, uh, mm -hmm. uh, normal uh, standard uh, oil filter, oil filter cap uh, was uh, cracked, and, uh, oh. broken, and uh, go inside. So, uh, plastic is uh, uh, not strong, oh. so street use is okay, uh, oh. but, uh, uh, in the late truck, uh, engine have uh, main, so many air and vibration and the heating, so mm -hmm. it's a uh, uh, little bit uh, uh, not uh, durability, mm -hmm. so uh, aluminum one is uh, not, uh, cannot be uh, broken, oh. so we, we recommend uh, change the uh, this old cap. Mm -hmm. Even with the modern cars with better like mount, yeah. still like the stock plastic cap will crack once we take it to high load. Yeah, yeah. So actually, guys, everyone thinks this is just a cosmetic stuff. It's just to look flashy in an engine bay, but it's more meaning than just look yeah, good. So this is a uh, uh, functionally idea. Mm -hmm. So not less up, mm -hmm. but. It's good dresser. <laughs> nice. So what I like about Spoon is basically like all these parts, like even this, it has meaning. It has um, the reason why Spoon develops it. And what Jomoto-san told me last time when I visited Spoon is basically Spoon puts stuff that needs to be improved. They don't put body kits just because to look cool. They yeah. put body kits to make it more function. Yeah, so uh, we have, uh, our product is a uh, need a function. Mm. So uh, this car uh, is, has a, a prototype 
Rodown Spring. Oh, uh, I see. I can tell. It's yeah. a little bit lower. Yeah. So Rodown Spring uh, goes. Uh, uh, <coughs> looks good, mm -hmm. but the uh, Rodown means uh, uh, more uh, low and the uh, uh, easy to high speed cornering mm. and. Uh, but the uh, just lower is a uh, uh, high speed corner is a uh, uh, cornering uh, is uh, okay. But the uh, just low is a uh, uh, sometimes uh, bouncing and uh, uh, not comfortable. Right, right. But the uh, we our uh, spring is a uh, uh, special uh, uh, form, so we can get a uh, uh, comfortable driving feel and uh, high uh, high. Um, performance uh, cornering so uh, we want uh, our aim is a uh, both side is a uh, increase oh yeah. uh, sometimes uh, uh, cornering good uh, comfortable bad mm. uh, sometimes change but uh, uh, we aim a uh, both side is, uh, mm. yeah. so basically even if you lower the car yeah. usually it gets bad ride comfort yeah. but Spoons, this uh, low down spring is actually not only it looks cool when it's low down, it, it adds more performance to it, yeah. but also it's more comfortable. Yeah. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Well, so this is Ridge Line, right? Yep, this is a Ridge Line. Yeah. But it's original Ridge Line, right? I think the first generation? Yeah, who knows what they're doing to us. Well, interesting enough, Spoon not only does work on like the FKA, the FL5, they also work on like this Honda cars that's not like really easy to do on a dealership, so interesting. Yeah, Honda Ridgeline doing some work. Obviously, it's a left and drive, so. Huh. And a Accord Euro R. Seen some better days, but has some cool parts. Also, S660 right here. Right next to that, you have a Honda C32 engines and all the head covers from the past Hondas and FKA.